Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to barbecue brisket. So, the first thing you want to do is get your brisket and make sure it's ready to put on the grill. So, for a moist, juicy brisket, you're going to want to choose a piece of meat that has approximately half an inch layer thick of a layer of fat on one side and you want to purchase around five to six pounds of brisket with this half inch thick layer of fat to make sure that it's going to turn out the best on your grill the best for your barbecue so for the your best results you're going to want to get USDA choice meat or better and your butcher might not have these pieces of meat on display so you may need to ask them to see and in some cases you might even have to special order this brisket but you want to get the right brisket so you make sure it turns out right on your grill <clears throat> and then you want to get your brisket with visible fat straciations to ensure that you have a moist piece of meat because when you put it on the grill and heat it up it's going to really dry it out so you want to make sure it's moist from the beginning so that it's going to turn out the best you know the best quality at the end so then you're going to want to take your brisket out of the packaging and rinse it with cold water for several minutes and then pat it dry with paper towels and then if you buy a brisket with a layer of fat that's more than an inch ideally or half an inch ideally you're going to get a half an inch thick but if you sometimes it doesn't work out, you might not be able to find that perfect, you know, layer of fat on your brisket. So if it's thicker than a half an inch, you can use a sharp knife to, and you can trim it off a little bit. And you can go down to as low as about a quarter inch of fat on your brisket. You know, you don't want to go any less than that. You want to keep it so that the so that it cooks right and correctly. Then you're going to want to get your rub. You're going to want to get your rub ready for the biscuit and put some spices on it so it has some flavor. So a simple uh, ingredients for a good rub is going to be one tablespoon of coarse salt, one tablespoon of chili powder, two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of ground black pepper, one teaspoon of ground cumin, and you're going to want to put it in a bowl and stir it up, mix it up, and then you're going to rub that spice mixture all over the brisket and coat it completely, every side of the brisket, get it all nice and spicy. And you can add whatever, if you already have a rub in mind, and you already got your secret family recipe, you know, your grandma's recipe, go ahead and mix that up. This is just a simple idea if you don't know what to make. It's just a simple ingredient that you can get and put together a real quick rub that's going to taste great for you. So then, you're going to put the brisket, once you've got it all nice and coated with your spices, put it in plastic and cure it in the refrigerator. So you want to allow it to cure in the refrigerator for about four to eight hours so you can get the flavors of the spices to seep into the brisket and get it all nice and, and uh, tasting real good for when you put it on your, uh, on your grill. But if you're short on time, you can skip this step and your brisket will still taste good. It just won't have quite the pop that it's going to have. So next, you're going to want to get your your grill ready and you're going to want to soak your wood chips to give your brisket that delicious smoky flavor you need you want to put on the barbecue with wood chips and you want to get six cups of hickory or mesquite chips and soak them for about an hour in cold water to cover the wood when the hours up drain the water so they're ready for the grill you don't want them to you want to have them in the grill and soak them in water so they don't burn up too fast and it takes time and slowly releases smoke to get all the flavors seeping into your brisket then you're going to want to light your charcoal get your charcoal ready for your grill then you're going to want to place your hot coals in your grill from the charcoal get them on the bottom of your grill and make sure to create two piles, one on each side of the grill, and keep the center of the grill free of coal. So just put the put your coals in your grill, but keep them on the edges. And then what you're going to want to do is set up your drip pan. So when that space you left, you put your hot coals on your side, set up your drip pan in between the coals. And this is what's going. This is going to do is it's going to catch the fat 
that's going to cook off your brisket when you drop it because you don't want the fat to go in the charcoal because it's going to catch on fire and shoot up big flames and it might burn and ruin your whole uh, your whole brisket. So then you're going to put the wood chips in and then put the grate on top of your grill once your drip pan are in place and your charcoal is in place and then around your coals you're going to put the wood chips and then the last step is you're going to put your grate over top of everything and get your brisket ready to put on it so then you're going to get your brisket and put it in a pan once you take it out of your refrigerator take it out of the plastic wrap you've been curing it in your fridge then you're going to want to set it in an aluminum fan and then you're going to want to make sure that the fat layer is facing up okay and if you don't have a pan you might not have a pan you can use two sheets of heavy duty aluminum foil and put your brisket on top of that then you're going to want to set your pan on your grill and barbecue your brisket until it's nice and tender and shreds really easy and then you're good to go take your brisket off the grill let it rest let it chill out for a little bit and then boom you're ready to cook it and serve it and enjoy some nice juicy flavorful seasoned brisket so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one